Hey guys, I don't know about this yellow. We're gonna work with it. Happy Monday, happy Monday. <laughs> I thought it was a holiday, it's not. But speaking of the holidays, they're coming. And they're coming quick. And um, I'm, <laughs> I am being entranced and enticed by all of the things, pumpkin flavored things, um, just basically anything that's wrapped in pastry, pie crust, it's calling my name and it's going to continue to call my name because well the next three months are supposed to be the eating times of our life you know it's like you prepare yourself for the holidays but how do you truly prepare how do you prepare especially when you're eating a uh, low carb <laughs> it's really difficult to eat low carb during the holidays so today I have for you I have for you for us not just for you, for me too. I have for all of us. Whoever's watching, if you need this, I need it more than anything. Um, this is how to survive the holidays on keto. Yeah. Uh, how the hell are we gonna do this? Honestly, I'm being for real right now. How are we gonna do this? I have a list of things that I think may help us out. We'll give them a try and see if it works for us. I just recently lost a very, very good friend of mine, my grandmother and my father-in-law in a very short amount of time. I have since put on seven pounds of just pure water from eating all of the things. So it's been a rough go of it. I'm starting to get back into the swing of things. No, just get back to life and the holidays are coming and it's time to prepare. Also, possibly I live in Florida. Oh, people are walking by. Let's just act super nonchalant. Oh, they're holding hands. It's holiday season time. Uh, I live in Florida and there's a hurricane brewing that may hit us as well. So woohoo! I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get straight into how to survive keto during the holidays. Are we ready? Here we go. Number one is eat before you go to a family gathering. Eat something before you go to these family gatherings. I know John told me yesterday when I was reading these off to him, he's like, the point of going to the family gatherings is to eat and that shouldn't be a thing I don't know why that's a thing but it's a thing so if you're trying to really you know stay on the keto train and stay low carb stay in ketosis whatever eat before you go eat a really high fat meal so you're super full so if you have food surrounding you you won't be as tempted to reach for it and eat it if you have had a huge high fat meal before you went to a massive gathering of food that may sound depressing and super sad and that's like the whole reason you love going to your family's house well have a little treat allow yourself in your head I'm going to have grandma's I don't know pumpkin pastry puffs eat one but eat before you go so you don't eat 12 see what I'm doing here eat before you go that's number one number two this is like for Christmas more than Thanksgiving and whatever but find yourself a kick-ass sugar cookie recipe because I don't know about you guys but we are big make cookie things around the holidays which I think I found a sugar cookie recipe I'm going to try out on this channel this week we're gonna make holiday themed cookies and decorate and see if we can make keto cookies that taste good so I say find yourself a kick-ass sugar cookie recipe chocolate chip recipe whatever your favorite kind of cookie is we like to decorate cookies in this house so find yourself a really good kick-ass recipe oh my god another neighbor I can't even it's gonna leave the poop there you know <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Happy Monday to me. Find yourself a, a kick-ass cookie, sugar cookie recipe, and make these things keto. You can make a lot of things keto. Make them keto. So that would be number two. I know that's a random number two, but it's really important to me, so I put it on my list. Make a goal for the end of the year instead of making a goal at the beginning of the year. So basically what I'm saying about this is instead of starting on January 1st to lose weight, start right now and give yourself a gift at the end of the year. Like I survived the holidays without gaining 500 pounds. I lost this five pounds before Christmas. And buy yourself a Christmas gift. Have your own little present at the end of the long tunnel that is the holiday food. Train track coming to the freaking wall like crazy. I know this is a hard time of year to stay on any way of eating like I know. Trust me, I know. I lost 30 pounds last year, last year, boxing, uh, gained 40. 
during the holidays. So I'm not doing that this year. So what is my gift to myself, you ask? Funny, 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 you ask. I have, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds, because I'm not gonna say 20, because I could realistically, if it wasn't the holiday season, I could lose 20 pounds before the end of the year. We're gonna say 10, because I'm trying to actually live as well, but if I lose this 10 pounds, by January 1st, not starting January 1st, but by January 1st, Mama's gonna do something for herself. I haven't really come up with what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm probably gonna go away for a weekend by myself, doing whatever I want. So, do that. Make a little baby goal of like either losing weight or maintaining your weight until the end of the year, and then give yourself a gift. I love presents, I think this will work. It might work for you. Give it a try, you don't know, I don't know. Maybe you do know, I don't know. Number four. I know, like I said before, family gatherings are usually centered around food. At least my family usually is. If we do our family gatherings, I'm pretty positive that's most families. Why don't we encourage activities instead of food? I say, instead of like sitting around munching on all the snack plates, why don't we go outside and play a game of football? Which we do that on Christmas anyway. But like, let's encourage activities. You know that, that game with the oven mitts that you wrap a present in tape? Let's, let's do that instead of deciding to eat 12 pieces of pie. Let's encourage an activity instead of eating and sitting around watching football, whatever. Watch your football game, do whatever you need to do, but like, let's, let's do some activity. If you're gonna eat a bunch, go outside, play a game of football, like, throw the ball around with the little kids at the party, like, encourage activity at your family gatherings, and that may help with your eating this way during the holiday season, perhaps. I'm gonna give it a try. The go, overall, if you say. Plan ahead, plan, plan ahead. If you're going to a family get, when I say plan, it sounds weird in my head. Plan ahead, plan ahead. Plan ahead. Bring a keto treat, bring something that you yourself love on keto and bring it to these family gatherings and make someone else love it. Cause you know people can be like, oh, I've heard about keto. Jillian Michaels says it's so much. Screw Jillian Michaels, okay? Like, pfft, don't even get me started on that chick. Make your grandma love the keto loto mashed, mashed potato cauliflower bake. Make Aunt Susan, who always has an opinion about everything, make her try your keto cookies. And don't tell her. Tell, tell Uncle Todd, the weird uncle in the corner, like when he's talking about, oh, I heard Keto's back from your heart. Well, here, Uncle Todd, try my broccoli bake. Loves it. Do that. Bring something for yourself that you know you love or bring a couple of options. Make people love it too. And then you don't have to explain why you're eating low carb to all of your family. Uh, I don't love the holiday season. <laughs> Family's amazing and wonderful, but I know. Trust me, guys, I know. Bring keto options with you. That's number five. Bring a keto option that you make yourself. Make other people like it. It's an option, right? Final tip, enjoy yourself. <laughs> enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. If that means you need to eat a little something, eat a little something, but just eat a little something. Be kind to yourself during the holiday season. This is supposed to be the time of our life. This is the time. I can tell you it is stressful, but it's also, these are the memories that you're making, and if you want pumpkin pie, eat the damn pie. Eat the pie. Just don't go crazy. I'm like literally telling myself this. I feel like I'm looking in the mirror and doing affirmations like, don't eat all the pie. Eat some of the pie. Piece of the pie. And just have portion control and just be kind to yourself. And if you go off a little bit, okay, get back on. You know, Thanksgiving is one day. Christmas is one day. Halloween is one day. Just take a day, not a week, not a month. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? Kind to yourself during this holiday season. We're here to have fun. Enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, enjoy your life. Enjoy your life because life is so freaking short. And if you're gonna be in heaven, you're gonna be like, I am so pissed right now that I did not eat a piece of Graham's pumpkin pie. Like, why didn't I do that? So if you need to eat the piece of pumpkin pie, eat the pie. Bring a keto option, okay? I know it's super random, but I wanted to have like a lighthearted, fun, let's get into the holiday spirit video after all of the depressing AF videos that I've posted on my channel in the last couple of months. I know guys, sorry. Typically I'm super, I love life. I'm super enthusiastic. Is it weird to say you're super enthusiastic? Like that's probably a weird thing to say about yourself, but I am. I love life. I love my life. I love you guys. I love this channel. I love, I love to live and be happy. And it's been a rough go of it, but it's not not impossible to like bring yourself out of it. I had a really good weekend with my family and with Morgan and just I got so much done in my life and I'm just positive 
thinking, you guys. Positivity. Soak it all in. Be positive and enjoy this holiday season. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life because you only get one life. So live it, love it, enjoy it. Gosh, I literally sound like Oprah. But seriously, we can survive the holidays. This is nothing. We can do this. We've done worse. We've done harder things. Haven't we? We have. So, like I always say in all of my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Tell all your friends about me. Share me to your mom, your grandma. They tend to love me too. I'm just saying. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and being here and just being a part of this with me. Your support means the world to me. The world. You have no idea how much it means to me. I will always leave my Amazon affiliate link down below. That helps me out. So if you are shopping on Amazon this holiday season, I'm gonna link a couple of my favorite things down there. Check it out. If you just even shop through that link and buy your normal Amazon stuff, uh, you are helping me out. That's it. And you don't even have to buy anything I have down there. You're just helping me out. And you guys have been using it and it's been amazing. So thank you for that. I always have everything linked down below. My Patreon, Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much. Everything's linked always. And we're going to have a really fun October. We're going to have a really fun November. And we're going to have an even better December. And the, we're going to wrap this year up in a nice little pretty bow. And we're going to make it beautiful. Whether I've had a lot of sadness and death at the end of the day none of us get out of here you know alive and I'm going to choose to remember the people I love in a very happy positive way and honor their lives by having a really good end of the year that's how I'm going to do it and I hope you do it too and if you guys need anything from me you know hit me up I don't know, I'm just talking at this point, so I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hang out, become part of the family, and I'll see you in my next video, which will be Wednesday. We're going to have fun, guys. This is going to be a fun thing, I promise. I okay? love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye, friend! <sighs> Yelled on that one. Bye, guys. Amanda's coming over for coffee, so I've got to go. Okay. Bye!